Welcome back, everybody, to more Stone Hearth here on Additional Pylons Games. It's actually been quite a while since I've last recorded uh, Stone Hearth for a couple reasons. One, obviously, Skyrim Special Edition came out, and that is my all time favorite game. So that's Skyrim. Just sorry. Not gonna, well, sorry, not sorry. Not going to apologize that. Second, obviously, the holidays happened, and so I had to plan out a bunch of content for that three weeks worth of content, and Stone Hearth just wasn't a part of that at that time. Um, the other part of it is that there weren't a whole lot of like new updates and stuff for uh, Stone Hearth, and there really hasn't been too much lately, so I've just been kind of uh, doing whatever with it. Anyways, you can see, since last time, the town looks a little bit different, so I've been playing a little bit in my off time, uh, off camera, basically, and so we'll just kind of go through the, some of the things that have happened. So I finished up the town square. I've decided to just go ahead and get it done, get some, get it looking decent enough for now. And maybe later on, we'll we'll renovate it, we'll redo something with it. But for now, I think it looks pretty good. Second thing that you'll see is that there are a lot of new buildings around the center here. Um, in particular, you've got this new, the new inn. This is one of the tier two buildings. You've also got some like the specialized buildings here. Um, this is the Tinker's Workshop, you've got the Stonemason, Blacksmith, uh, Potter, Weaver, and Chef, Cook, are all there. And now we're working on some, some of the bigger houses. And so just using some of the Tier 2 buildings and making use of them, kind of just to change things up, spice things up a little bit, make our city look a little bit more well-developed. So we've got that going on. You can see here, uh, the back side of the temple, the back side of the lighthouse, we, I've finished up the uh, Grand staircase um actually i think i might put some lanterns or some braziers here something like that but i wanted a way for um for the for the hearthlings to get up there that was a little bit more uh grand i guess a little bit more respectable towards the uh the audacity i guess the uh the amazing the amazingness that this lighthouse is the grand lighthouse you've also got the um this little ledge here that goes around the grand lighthouse give it a little bit more walking room on the outside just to make again make it look a little bit more grand make it look again also like the lighthouse is kind of dug into and it really is um just like very i don't know just clawed deep into the mountain to make sure that it's able to retain its height there so that's going on we've also got a couple other new buildings over here you've got the uh, temple of it's like uh some shadow or something like that the shadow of someone i forget but it, there's a there's a light there's a little uh what's it called there's a fire pit in there and then when they let it up it makes shadows throughout all the uh the different places there also these pots using them to store uh wealth and wealthy objects uh we can just go ahead and get rid of you for now and lastly but not least we've got uh for the new buildings at least we've got the uh sort of like an advanced watchtower it's kind of how i styled it so um let's go ahead Still working on the gatehouse. Um, I'm going to be doing a time-lapse video for that in the future. But for now, we've got the uh, the the watchtower here. So you've got... Ooh. So you kind of... I kind of styled it like you, you've you got these rock piles that make it look like, you know, they might be able to drop rocks on, on any enemies that come here along the base. But you've got three watchtowers. So you've got the ones that... The one that looks here to the southwest, kind of overlooking... Just this area here where the gatehouse is going to be. So it's not too big of a deal. Again, you've got the this watchtower up here looking to the northeast. Again, not a whole lot out here, especially uh, you're going to have a, a watchtower or something like that back here as well to keep an eye out. But the big one, and you have this this asymmetrical tower, this tower that's much bigger, looking out here to the southeast, just kind, kind of covering this plain. And just, you know, keep an eye out for, uh, you know, trade caravans or for travelers or for, you know, military incursions, that sort of thing. So we've got that going on. We've also got a number, oh, Trader Returns, uh, yes. So now we we just got the wheat grain. Let's go ahead and activate that. So now we can plant wheat. So that's a neat little thing. I've also, um, a couple other things. I've carved out these, these mountain areas here. So you can see those, those little mountain areas. We'll have these be like storage facilities. Uh, carved out a lot of the mountain here, the major mountain as well. Really done a lot of work on the inside here for the main hallway. And then same thing up top. So we've got this big open area here to, to look over the hallway. But we've got all these new open rooms up here that to do something with as we continue building. 
Um, let's see, the last thing is that I've started down here. Um, so we've got this, these staircases that come down underneath the main hallway. And this is going to be like a mine shaft. So it's going to be going straight down. It's going to be real steep and hopefully getting us uh, a lot of good resources, gold and silver and all the different iron and ores that we need. So that's the hope. That's what we, we've kind of been doing here in Stone Hearth. So our hearthlings are just about done. Or are they done with this building? Uh, no, not done yet. We need some lamps. We need some windows, but that's okay. But you can see the new tier two buildings here. The tier two buildings are largely, um, they're meant to be multifaceted. They're meant to look different from different angles. So that way you can place, basically you can place four, four the same, four copies of the same building, one with each side, and they'll look relatively different from all the different angles. So that way you, you get this illusion of having more different template buildings than what you actually have, which I think is a, I think is a good solution uh, for the short term, at least for uh for the different for the stone hearth creators um same thing here with the with the big lodge so you've got this big lodge here area here and you've got different different views from different angles to allow for um you know just give it a little bit of variance so the next project um well the next project that i was thinking i'm working on is definitely we need to uh get to work on this building so yes let's get started on that Get our hearth things going. I'm trying to think of what other uh, updates there are. So you can see the, this is actually the same building and it's just been rotated a little bit. And it gives it, just from the outset, it gives it a nice little different perspective. Um, other other ideas. Oh, the other thing is that uh, as far as like a building scheme goes, you can kind of see we've got three different color schemes, building schemes going on. So you've got the civic buildings, just the, um, just the regular civilian buildings, basically. And those are going to be mostly the white ash, just the, the white the pale color, um, the, the wooden rooftops, open air, kind of just very desert feeling, right? So that's kind of signifying just a, a, a normal civilian building. Then you've got the, the red, right? You've got the red, red here, and then you've got a lot of red in the lighthouse. That's going to be more of, um, community buildings or maybe, um, religious or social gathering areas, that sort of thing, um, featuring a lot of red, just focusing on that area. And then you've got your military buildings, which are going to have a lot of the stone gray, the dark slate. Uh, the roads will still be slate, but you've got this dark, more intimidating, I guess, factor going on. Same thing with our gatehouse, which is still in process. You can see that um, at this point in time, it's a lot of it's a lot of gray. It's a lot of dark gray. So that's, I guess, the other phil philosophy, the building philosophy that I've been going on with Guar Haracho nowadays. So that's that's kind of I don't know what I've been going with. There we are. Other things to talk about. Well, it's snowy outside, so it's an it's a good day to stay inside, stay indoors, and uh, not do anything of particular importance. Let's go ahead. Um, one of the other things that I want to do is I want to make this. So the mine shaft is going to be right here. This is kind of like a meeting area, and then the hard things can go into the individual staircases wherever they they need to get to. This is going to be like a little. Um, Maybe some storage here, some storage here as well for anything that the hearthlings pull up out of the mine. Uh, but we're gonna start going down. We're gonna delve too deep and too greedily. Um, <laughs> we're gonna start diving down to try and see what there is deep down in the earth here in the town of Guarharacho. So yeah, that's some of the some of the big updates that have been going on as far as what's been happening with the town. Um, I have not had a lot of invaders or uh, skeletons or anything like that popping up. So basically my soldiers and you can see the town has grown up to 26 uh, people, which I think is where I have the caps at. But I've got my soldiers actually taken off of their job just so that they can do a lot of the hauling um, and allow really all the other the, all the other people to to focus on their tasks rather than hauling stuff back to the storage area, which as of right now, is still pretty centralized. You can see that most of our storage is right here. There's a little bit of storage here and there in, in small areas. Um, there's some storage actually, and you can see people bringing stuff up. The, there's storage up here in these chests, which I put there more for it to look like maybe they're holding ammunition. Um, same thing with like the stone piles, but I guess 
I guess it works. All right. Um, five red clay windows in two days. I'll give you five. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so Mr. Uh, Mr. Potter Man. Let's go for that. What did you say? Red clay windows, or did you say red clay window frame? Yeah, not the lattice, right? So he wants five of those. So let's do that. Craft those, and let's get those to the top of the list. So that we get those gold ingots because you can never have enough gold. Yes, I'm getting gold. All right. Um. Anyways, so other plants we definitely need to uh, fence in some of our other. You know, we need to fence in our chickens and our sheep's our sheepies. Uh, also need to figure out what to do with all of this space up top here, which um, I think that obviously using some of it for storage is going to be valuable. Um, is going to be worthwhile, but there's a lot of space up there, and I'm not sure what else to use it for. Um, at this time, you know, Stoneheart's still kind of in beta. Let's go ahead and harvest all this. You know, not everything that they want to do is implemented, and and I think that there's opportunity for more... Mm, I don't know. I just think that there's opportunity for more. I don't know what that more is at, right now, but I think that there's opportunity for more. And so leaving spaces like this for whenever the new updates do come... I think that that's a wise thing to do. So let's go ahead and since we're expanding our housing a little bit, oh, and there's our first error of the episode. Let's go ahead and Raya's Shadow. That's where it is. So that's the um, that's our little uh, temple building here, uh, red clay homes. So and then little red. So we can we can plant out some of these little reds here along the other side of this road here. And we'll do it so that it's offset. I will just, I'm just kind of using the templates here, uh, just for now. So we'll do some. So we'll do some little reds. Here again, like I said, we'll we'll do it offset so that the uh, the doors aren't you know directly in front of one another because that would be that'd be really strange. Um, really strange. It'd be like uh, you know, like, I don't know if you ever lived on the dorms at college or something like that, and you just like, it's definitely good that, that, you know, the way it was set up for me, for, for where I live, you didn't, you did not look directly into the, to the person across from you, and I'm so thankful for that, because, you know what, I don't need to see those people all the time, <laughs> keep your doors closed, I don't want to have to, you know, I don't want to have to open up my door and look straight at, you know, three dudes puking and partying and whatever, so, anyways, that's just, that's just me. So moving on, moving on from college days, let's just, let's not go back there. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm, oh, so you can see we've got some big oak trees back here. Um, large oak trees, yes. Um, so got those again from a trader who was able to, uh, basically we traded him some seeds that are native to the desert region. And he was able to trade us seeds for oak saplings. And now we can grow oak trees, which is not handy. Um, let's check our inventory. All right, we're pretty low on wood, actually. So let's go ahead and cut down a few of these, a few of these mighty oak trees. We'll start, we'll just start with the ones at the edge and that should be enough to get us going. Obviously we've got plenty of acacia wood here on the side to keep us going there. Um, so yeah, this is a brief update, at least of what's been going on in Stonehearth. I'm still not super happy. You know, I'm kind of, I'm fairly happy with this watchtower, but if you guys have any thoughts, any ideas on what we could do with that, let me know. Post something in the comments. Um, so earlier I did say that we were going to be using these for storage. And so I think it's wise that we start doing that right now. Let's go ahead and line up a bunch of these chests. We've got six chests left over. Having some storage out here come in handy obviously you can see we've got a lot of furniture here we've also got a lot of these engineer traps i made sure to get a, make a lot of those so that way when we do open up the gatehouse the guardhouse uh we, what the plan basically is um there's going to be and we'll just take a quick preview at it so you see you've got this initial 
We've got this initial little area here where the enemies have to close down, the, knock down the door, the lock gate, and then they have to come up here. You've got this stairway where they come up, but you can see that the, the wall right here is actually very low. It's a very low wall. And what the plan is, is to actually have an actual, mm, we'll, we'll build that during the actual, what the time lapse, but to build a little platform out here that allows for all of our uh, engineers turrets to be lined up right here. And so as the enemies come up these stairs, they're just going to get pelted with, uh, with whatever it is that the, the turrets shoot. And then same thing, uh, you've got this, you've got this staircase here where the enemies have to bash down the door and they're going to be vulnerable to be, to being attacked and shot. We've got a third door here, just as kind of last ditch effort. And then we can take, have a, we've got this little crossway here again, where we're going to have this whole area just lined with those clap traps, those, those, um, uh, where it, these things clamp traps that's what they're called so there you go so that's the idea at least the initial day idea so if you watch this you guys get a preview as to what's going on what's going to happen with our defense the the time lapse that's happening there let's go ahead and order up some more of those chests uh, mason that's the mason's chest. all right let's order up a bunch more of these so let's go with we'll just say third that should be fine. That should keep him busy for a while. Mr. Pottery Man this is do doing fine. Okay. Uh, herbalist. Do we need anything from the herbalist? We could do with some of these energy tonics. So let's create five of those while we are able. Um, those energy tonics will allow our our uh, hearthlings to move and to to work much faster, to need less sleep. So that's all good stuff. Um, oh, apparently there's a little guy right here. Didn't see him. Figured that all these trees were just massive, but apparently not. A Viking carrying an assortment of armor approaches. That is actually new. I've, I've seen this only like once or twice. Um, spiky quiver. I think we have two of those already. Yes, we do. Okay. So everything else I think we're okay on. Um, so we're not going to be buying anything, but we can definitely... We can probably sell some stuff. Gotta keep our reserve. So hunk of stone. We can get rid rid of some of that. Oh, we can definitely get rid of some of this wool. Uh, another error. Let's just let's just pretend it never happened, huh? <laughs> um, we can sell all those. I'm fine with that. Want to keep those so that we can get gold ingots for them. And. Thanks for tuning in to another episode here on APG. Click the boxes below to watch another episode. Click the circle to subscribe and leave a like and a comment below. Connect with me on Facebook and Twitter and join me next time for more indie, iconic, and memorable gaming moments here on Additional Pylons Game.